Farmers and ranchers often make things work with a little improvisation, but every once in a while they come across a situation that needs some custom-made equipment and there isn't always time to get it done. In this report, Gerard Lampau introduces us to an area producer who is using his welding skills to help meet the demand. The business has grown for where we're now at uh, seven full-time workers. Bruce Klassen has been building equipment to help producers manage their cattle herd for the last 17 years. His family has a mixed agriculture background based in Heinsburg. It's been eight years since he decided to make a serious go at manufacturing cattle equipment. 2008, we built our first products and then we tried to market them. Since then, we have had orders and we've had very little inventory. Everything is built on orders. Sometimes we're booked as much as two months ahead. Leonard Larry is an ag producer from St. Wahlberg who's looking at Klassen's work. Well, we're looking at uh, possibly buying some of these panels, and I see there's a, a swing gate on the end, which is something that interests us. I was also quizzing him about uh, the way he manufactures them. Like the hinge, how it can go all the way back without uh, bottoming out. Larry admits that he could build his own equipment, but like many producers, the issue is time. We've uh, made some of these, but you're right, we don't all have time all the time. And uh, also, there's not only making it, there's always new ideas, and I see something on here that we hadn't thought of. There's other people in the same niche market as we are that build it a, a cheaper product, and some people are going to them, but we've tried to build it strong enough that all customers will be happy. Klassen's business is taking orders sometimes three to five months ahead and he is aiming to hit a milestone. We would like to hit a million dollars in sales next year. Gerard Lampau, Newcap News. Well, it's happened before. Maybe even at your workplace, an employee gets access to a company's social media account, makes an ill-advised post, and both parties have to live with the consequences. That's a scenario the City of Lloydminster wants to avoid. So at yesterday's council meeting, they discussed a proposed new social media policy. I think what they have in there is, uh, is, in, is, is a good piece. If implemented, it would give the city some teeth if employees or councillors use social media inappropriately in the future. For example, posting anything to do with discrimination, harassment, threats, or even confidential information could result in punishment and potentially termination. But before the policy is concrete, councillor Jason Whiting says he'd like to examine it thoroughly. Kudos to our administration for bringing it forward. Um, I think it, it very well could be a very well thought out and uh, a great piece of policy to go forward. I just would, wanted to just an extra opportunity to, um, to, to talk a bit more about to see some examples of other existing policies. For the moment, the social media policy has been tabled until further notice. It's Superhero Week at the Lloydminster SPCA. Two cats with names from the Marvel Universe are up for adoption. In this week's pet project, John introduces us to Hulk, who acts more like Bruce Banner, and Loki, the low-key troublemaker, who will do anything to get attention. This week we'd like to introduce you to two of the Earth's mightiest cats. That's right, it's Superhero Week at the Lloydminster and District SPCA. First up is Hulk, a two-year-old domestic short-haired cat. Unlike his namesake though, this Hulk is not one mean green fighting machine. Rather, he's a laid-back cat that gains his power from the extra love and attention you give him. The more you pet him, the stronger he gets. This guy wants nothing more than to find that special friend to be a sidekick. Hulk did come to us as a stray, so it's likely that he's been searching the countryside looking for that special someone. Now that he's here, we're quite certain that it's only a matter of time until he finds that lifelong companion who will never leave his side. Maybe you are that special person. So stop by the SPCA and meet Hulk today. Next up is Loki, the cat of mischief. Loki is a one and a half year old domestic short haired cat. This cat loves to explore, but he doesn't have a bad bone in his body. He just adores people. He's perfectly content to get extra pets and cuddles. And when you're not at home, he's happy just to laze away the day in front of the window, soaking in the sun. This Loki also enjoys the company of other cats. To him, a stranger is just a friend he hasn't met. Once you spend a few minutes with Loki, you'll be hooked, which makes him such a super cat. Be sure to visit the SBCA today and meet Loki. We're sure he will put a spell on you.